The EOCI program is one of the biggest EU programs that we are running in the area of anti-corruption. And the selection of Mariupol was part of a sub-program that we are running there. And that is, what are cities that are interested in themselves creating an environment that is more transparent, that is more open, that is more fit to tackle corruption. In order to create a strong Ukraine, you need foreign investments. One of the really key elements for a, a good investor environment is a low level of corruption. Denmark and the EU uh, is firmly committed to this process, so we will continue supporting. I definitely understand that progress has been made. There's still room for further improvements. We can see that our businesses are really interested in investing across Ukraine, and I think that's one of the important points. ULIT with Europe has been active in Donetsk Oblast since three years already to support the countrywide implementation of the decentralization reform and to ensure that the Ukrainian citizens actually feel the results and the benefits of this reform. We have decided to support um, the EU project office and to contribute to its um, existence to um, have a more concrete um, activities um, to this vulnerable Azovsi region. Geoportal is one of the uh, very interesting tools that are developed for the city of Mariupol with the aim to fight corruption but through the angle of creating easily accessible transparent, modern, digital ways of delivering information and services to the citizens, to the businesses. Decision to be here, to open up the office of the European Union and the Azov Sea region, and in Mariupol specifically as a city, is an expression of the firm support of the European Union to help Ukraine to overcome the challenges. Это первый комплексный для Мариуполя инструмент, единая IT-система, которая делает доступными информацию из разрозненных источников. Сделать их открытыми, прозрачными, доступными как жителям нашего города, так и гостям нашего города, так и всем предприятиям, юридическим лицам, сделать их доступными.